Hi folks, I'm the inventor of the popular BioBlaster series of high shock power ozone generators for contractors and homeowners alike. Today we're here to address frequently asked question number five. And that question is very simple. It's called, is it safe? Or what are the proper rules for using ozone? Well folks, I am here to tell you that our ozone machines are absolutely not safe to use when the space that you've got them in is occupied. That's right. The EPA tells us that ozone at over 0.05 parts per million is very damaging to lung tissue. The great news though is ozone is pure oxygen. It's O2, pure oxygen, plus O, free radical oxygen. When you have the machine turned on, and the ozone is coming out the other end, you're making massive amounts of this O3 molecule that will literally gobble up and destroy odors and kill viruses, bacteria, and mold spores. But it will also do damage to your lungs if you're present. And that's why there are three cardinal rules to, to know when we're dealing with ozone. And that is no people, no plants, and no pets. That's right, you've got to completely eliminate the people, the plants, and the pets from the area you're going to shock using our high output ozone generators. The other thing we always want you to do is to plug the machine into a simple external timer. These timers go for between seven and fifteen dollars. You can buy them at any big box, Home Depot, Lowe's, or other type of hardware store. And it becomes super easy to set the time that you want it to turn on, set the time that you want it to turn off, or if you want it to come on every day for a certain amount of time and turn off on its own, you can do that as well. You set the timer, you turn it to the on position, and then you forget it. You go outside the area, the machine turns on on its own, and then it turns off two hours before you come back. If you want to come back a little sooner, you're going to need to use either a full face respirator like we use for mold, or a half face respirator that's capable of filtering with charcoal which will oxidize or which will gobble up these extra oxygen molecules and make it safe for your lungs. The great news is in two hours time you've had roughly six halvings of the gas. That means you'll be back to normal breathing levels in no time flat. And if you want to guarantee that it's safe to return, open the windows and doors for a few minutes, let the fresh breeze in, take off your mask or use your nose and you'll know whether it's safe or not because ozone is a powerful pungent gas and your nose is an awesome detector of it. So how is it safe to use? It's safe to use after you remove the people, after you remove the plants, and after you remove the pets. As an added precaution, always use your timer and if you're going to go into a heavily filled ozonated room, we recommend you wear a respirator. Some companies tell you you can hold your breath and I'm not going to lie, I, I, I have done that myself to turn my ozone machines on or off. But it's not necessary if you're using a simple timer. So stick with the timer, remove the people, remove the plants, remove the pets, start shocking with our awesome high-powered machines and destroy the viruses, the bacteria, the mold spores, and the odors. It's the, they're the best machines in the market with the highest output for the least price. You won't be disappointed. Don't take my word for it. Buy one for yourself today and prove it. 